What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers and welcome back to another episode of Cursed Gun Images. I know, so soon, thing is, as much as I loved looking at your cursed internet dog shit, there's one thing in particular you guys have been sending me over and over, just flooding, and I mean flooding, my inbox with. So of course we're going to have to cover that or else you guys would be horrifically disappointed. Almost as disappointed as Cincinnati fans after last night's game. Plus we figured we might as well give you some content because let's face it, you guys aren't doing anything else on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Too harsh. So let's start with a video that you guys cannot seem to stop talking about. And honestly, I think this is something we might have covered a long fucking time ago at some point, but it's coming back up. Mostly because, of course it is, it's going viral on TikTok. And we may or may not be able to include the audio because fucking TikTok, music, YouTube, they don't get along. But don't worry, you don't need audio to see how fucking bad this is. It just gets worse and worse. Cry emoji. Introducing the world's first, Bullpup Belt Fed And you know where this is going if you've seen it Lever Gun So as I'm sure you guys know, I'm not exactly a big fan of bullpups I do however like lever guns, in fact I own one in 44 Magnum And of course, if you know, I've always been a fan of belt feds But the idea of a belt-fed, bull-popped, lever gun in 44 Magnum makes all of those things worse. This is going insanely viral on TikTok, and I have been sent this, no joke, I'm not kidding, through, through Twitter, through Instagram, through email, all over, probably a few hundred times in the last few days. And I get it. I do have to give it to the designer, though. I know, I know, I probably, yeah, I, I hate to give credit, but I gotta give credit where credit's due. This doesn't look easy. Making a gun that's supposed to feed from a tube magazine feed from a belt? That's pretty fucking hard. Top that with completely changing the lever design, the thing that actually loads the cartridge, and pushing the lever further forward all the way to the front of the gun and having to run a linkage system to actually make that operate? You, sir, are a man of terrible taste. But excellent craftsmanship. I remember this floating around the internet like at least a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that. But thanks to TikTok, it's back, and apparently a bunch of people did not see it. If you're like me and you don't like TikTok, go ahead and subscribe. We actually do good content here. Alright, we're okay. And if you do like TikTok, go ahead and subscribe anyway, because you're clearly entertained by anything, so go ahead and give it a shot. But still, as a whole, this gun goes against my uh, personal constitution, and therefore I will tolerate it no more. Again, impressive. It's like Dirty Harry's wet dream. I don't remember if I fired five rounds or all six. Doesn't matter though. I've got a goddamn belt. I'm feeling pretty lucky. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, moving on away from bad impressions, we've got some actual cursed gun images for you guys. This all has been floating around the last couple weeks. When you have a reenactment at one, but you want to violate the NFA at two. This appears to be a, uh, an 1851 Colt. Navy? Colt Army? I don't know, I've got a reproduction of one anyway. It can also be referred to as the classical looking Griswold and Gunnison pistol. It's a Civil War revolver. At least it would have been, had it not been for this uh, janky ass optic mount up top, and the addition of an AK underfolding stock. This would definitely be an illegal SPR. Would be. However, A, I don't know the persons who, who posted this, uh, their tax stamp status or anything like that, and frankly, I don't want to know. It's none of my fucking business. You hear that, internet? It's nobody's fucking business. And secondly, because of a little bit of a loophole, this isn't actually a firearm, because it is a black powder firearm that was made or designed prior to 1898, including replicas of those firearms. Because of that, this is not technically considered a firearm, therefore adding a stock to it is adding a stock to an object that is not a firearm. It's not a problem. Please consult your attorney before taking my advice as law. Uh, I am an internet re- And speaking of older handguns, up next we have what appears to be a modernized Colt single action army, AKA this. Of course, the only thing this one has that mine doesn't is the red dot on top and the tactical light on the bottom for when you want to accurately ND into your cinematographer at night. Jesus Christ, I can't even finish that. Sorry, any, any chance we get to dunk on Alec Baldwin is just gold. 
Which reminds me, I needed to take a moment to thank Acre Gold for making this video possible. They're paying for all the therapy. Acre Gold's an old friend of the channel. They're an awesome sponsor. With runaway inflation in the States, you know, it's nice to park a little bit to the side in something that's actually, you know, tangible. Plus they came out with some new merch, which is actually pretty damn neat. I don't know, I think it's just kind of neat, something you can buy from them, you know, support the people who support us and uh, not have to invest in gold. Although, I don't know, I don't think it's a bad idea at this point. Without going on a rant about the Federal Reserve, we'd like to thank Acre Gold. <laughs> Moving, you can check them out on the links down in the description in the pinned comment. On to more cursed gun images. This one's from Mr. Guns and Gear. Homemade 12 gauge used by the Burma People's Defense Force, or PDF. Somehow when your teacher tells you to convert a PDF, I do not think this is what they're talking about. This is a downright garage gun. This this actually just looks like a 12 gauge Ludi. Which by the way, if you don't know what that is or you haven't seen the video yet, we did a video on the Ludi a couple days ago. We actually made one. It's pretty cool, neat little part of firearm history and you know, kind of gives me a little freedom tingle. I think my favorite part of this is that they felt it necessary to incorporate a carry handle <laughs> as well as uh, I guess the sights in the in said carry handle. Um, interesting. I also do not think that stock looks very comfortable to shoot, but hey, if you have nothing else, you do what you can, right? Next up, mom, can we get a VSS Ventores? No, we have VSS at home. This is VSS at home. This appears to be, and I'm guessing here, maybe like a, a, a Ruger 1022, like a semi-auto 22, but it has what looks like I, probably airsoft conversion, uh, VSS integral suppressor tube and sights uh, on the front of it. Also looks like it has a Zenico PT-1, like if the, the Zenico folding stock on it, that's interesting. Got a pretty intense scope considering it's a 22, and uh, you're really not gonna get that kind of distance out of it, but that's okay. Top it off with a, an A2 pistol grip, because you know, can't let it be completely free of AR-15 goodness. Honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Does that make me the bad guy? This almost fits into the blurst category. I don't know, what do you guys think? I know, I just wish I could have a VSS on the channel. It would be really cool if we got a VSS on the channel this month. It would also be really cool if this video got 100,000 likes, because I have just this weird feeling that if this video got 100,000 likes, then we could have a VSS on the channel. You know, the thing that nobody else has been able to get their hands on. Yeah, 100,000 likes, that should do it. That feels right. <coughs> we could do a video on a VSS. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Don't know what came over me there. <laughs> well, ball's in your court now. On to more cursed gun images. Speaking of VSS, <laughs> this is this is VSS at home. The magazine indicates 545, it's like AK-74 caliber, and it's a bolt action gun. It's like a redneck gunsmith tried to imitate a VSS after only seeing it once and tracing it by hand. Gotta love those <laughs> just ugly ass Soviet era optics too. The receiver almost looks like an AN-94, oddly enough. But yeah, no, bolt action, bolt action, 30 round magazine, Jesus. So is this some bubbled abomination? Well, <laughs> maybe, but what it's commonly known as is the Armenian K11. Yeah, this was actually a production gun. Uh, this was, uh, it was available in 5.45, and to my knowledge, it was just 5.45 and 7.62 by 54R. Same as like, you know, PSL, SVD, that sort of thing. Mosin, PKM, yeah, the Soviets like their 7.62 by 54R. So 7.62 by 54R almost makes sense. You know, it's, you know, long range DMR slash sniper rifle. You want something that'll you know, reach out and touch, deliver a lot of energy. 5.45, um, you might be asking, you know, why would you do a sniper rifle uh, with 30 round magazines in 5.45? That's a good question, because I'm asking that too. Maybe they just had a shitload of it laying around. I don't really know. You'd have to ask the Armenians in the 70s, 80s, whenever the fuck this came out. Still, is it cursed? I don't know, you decide. Next up, it's time to get cranky. With a crank. That's right, we've got the crank AKS 74U with a riser. A couple of risers. Yo dog, I heard you like risers. This really only seems practical if you're trying to, I don't know, aim while you're <laughs> shooting it from like low ready. This, uh, this actually gets harder to look at the more I look at it. And I love cranks, so that that's a little difficult too. I need a refill. So next up we have the Phalanx surface-to-air weapon system. Is it cursed? Fuck no, it's awesome. Taxpayer dollars 
hard at work. What is cursed? When you slap a fucking minion on it. I don't know who did this or why they did this, but you just turned lethal R2-D2 into cringe. Minions were cursed when everybody's grandmother flooded them on Facebook, and they're cursed now. Enough said. When you max out the starter weapon. Jesus Christ, I think that's a, I think that's a 22. I point out that it's a 22 while completely ignoring the fucking Hubble telescope on top. Uh, the, uh, the suppressor, the laser mount, the, uh, the vertical grip there, as well as uh, an interesting method of mounting the scope. At least you can't say it's not in line with the barrel. This is obviously an intentionally cursed setup, but what's even more cursed is how stupid uh, gun laws can be sometimes. Had this not been a super fucking long barrel like this, because this, this looks like a 16 inch barrel to me, uh, had it not been that long, this would have been an illegal SBR. You can't put a vertical grip on a pistol without that being an SBR or at least a violation of the NFA. Now Brandon, that makes no fucking sense, you might say. Why would it be a short barrel rifle just because you put a pistol grip on the front of it? Well, Jimmy, that's because the people that write gun laws don't know a goddamn thing about guns, and so these are the kind of laws you get. Anyway, hashtag repeal the NFA, moving on. Speaking of horribly decked out 22s, Jesus Christ. It looks like an AR-15, this is just an AR-style 22. No buffer tube, because fuck that, I guess you really don't need it on a 22. Looks like a 1022 style drum. Super short barrel with uh, <laughs> no stock, no pistol grip other than what appears to be like a sawn off shotgun's pistol grip grafted on to be able to fit on a, an AR style weapon system. Who did this? For when you want to dump a shitload of 22 at absolutely nothing in particular. It's a good thing they included the carry handle. I can imagine this gets heavy after a while considering it's like three pounds of nothing. Hey Tony, why are you putting all that picatinny on the gun and not putting nothing on it? <laughs> okay, I'm done with this. No, I'm not. The, the skeletonized magwell just does it for me. Um, and I would say this, it doesn't deserve the battlefield pickup look it's got, but who knows, this thing could have, you know, seen extensive use in the hood. Okay, n now I'm done. And have you ever thought to yourself, you know, I'd really love to use a sword, but I wish it would have the ergonomics of a Japanese Nambu handgun. Well, I don't know who thought that, but apparently somebody did. This appears to be in some, like, museum or collection or something. Japanese officer's sword pistol captured by U.S. forces in the Pacific. Believe that the owner fabricated it himself. <laughs> that has got to be some of the most weeb shit ever. I'm issued a handgun, but I would really love to just charge in with a sword. Might have been a reason he got captured. Or killed. The sword got captured. <laughs> oh, Japan. You were weird before the bombs, huh? Not gonna lie, kind of takes balls, though. Kind of impressed. One thing's for sure is that officer was going places. Probably a POW camp, but that's a place. The things you see when you visit Austria Arms. Jesus, this looks like a, it looks like somebody merged like an MGL grenade launcher uh, with an AK with like a Striker 12 or a street sweeper, if you will. What's funny is that for some fucking reason, I actually know what this is. This was like a, uh, this was like a multiple uh, cylinder revolving Polish, I think it was a flare launcher, like a 26 millimeter flare launcher. I don't remember what it was called, the WZ something. I don't know, all the Polish shit starts with the WZ. It's WZ something. Damn, no, I was wrong, fuck. Yeah, it's usually WZ, okay? It's the RGA-86, it's a revolving flare launcher. I was right about that part. What an interesting little piece. And of course it does take the, uh, the AK pistol grips. I think that's a nice touch. So see, sometimes just because you don't know what it is doesn't mean it's cursed. Sometimes it's still cursed. Not gonna lie about that part. Maybe just laid awake at night and thought, I, I really wonder how I could make the Mini 14 worse. Anybody can think. This guy, he put his thoughts into action. Behold the Bullpup Mini 14. I don't know how you're expected to use those sights considering I'm pretty sure that part of the stock is supposed to go over your shoulder. I don't know if you're supposed to crane your neck that way. Fuck it, maybe you're not supposed to use sights. Maybe it's just, uh, you, I don't know, fucking use the force, Luke. I don't know. Two things at the bottom that appear to either be a joystick or, a, I don't know, maybe the uh, rubberized bottom of a flashlight with a nice little trigger linkage that pretty much says, yeah, this trigger's gonna suck. Don't let your memes be memes, kids. This too could be you. Now the caption on this was cursed RPK from Iraq. And yeah, 
Yeah, I can get down with that. That's <laughs> it's at least got a lot going on. A lot of contradictory things going on here, actually. 762 by 39, not exactly a great long range cartridge, even with the longer barrel of the RPK. So they've got kind of a janky dust cover mount with a big ass scope on it. Uh, not sure how that's gonna quite work out for you, but all right. Good news is if you miss them, you got 75 more, rocking that nice little drum on the bottom. A little bit of accuracy by volume, I respect it. And to top it all off, we've got a grenade launcher, M203, down on the bottom, or what looks to be. Which begs the question, if one was to shoulder and try to shoot it with that, <laughs> as, as far forward as that grenade launcher is, um, <clears throat> you're gonna have a bad time. It's at least not gonna be comfortable. This is one of the, this is definitely, this is definitely a mall ninja setup. Not sure what else to say about this, other than it's no wonder they fell to ISIS so quick. I realize I've started to sound a little bit bitter, so maybe it's a good idea if we just cut this episode of Cursed Gun Images right here. Thank God, my liver couldn't take much more. Please remember to subscribe if you like this kind of content. We've got a lot more coming up. We've got some really good content coming out the rest of this month, including if you guys can fucking get us there, you get that like goal, we'll do a fucking VSS video. Maybe, allegedly. We'll see. Anyhow, that's about all I've got for you guys. I appreciate you staying to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put his eyes to the top But I can't let you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers and to- Fuck. <laughs> right off the bat. I'm over here trying to give editing directions to my fucking editor. I do the thing. I realized I've started to sound a little bit bitter. Uh, maybe it's a good idea just to cut this episode of Gun Meme Review. Fuck me. What the fuck is wrong with me?